This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. This episode is brought to you by La Quinta by Wyndham. Your work can take you all over the place, like Texas. You've never been, but it's going to be great because you're staying at La Quinta by Wyndham. Their free bright side breakfast will give you energy for the day ahead. And after, you can unwind using their free high-speed Wi-Fi. Tonight, La Quinta. Tomorrow, you shine. Book your stay today at LQ.com. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1288. When your career sucks, you can fix it. Part 1, by Carl Stabe of digtofly.com. And I'm Dan, your host and narrator here on OWD, and thank you so much for joining me today as we begin another two-part episode. And if you're new here, sometimes we read these longer posts over two days, and that's uh, what we're going to do today. So with that, let's jump right into part one and start optimizing your life. When your career sucks, you can fix it. Part one, by Carl Stabe of digtofly.com. If you take a hard look at your career, you'll see hundreds of failures. A failure is rarely a dramatic occurrence. Most are usually small and hardly leave a blip on our awareness. No matter how small, the blip is registered and it often builds or reduces confidence. So if we break down our work happiness psyche, it all comes down to our ability to deal with each obstacle and how we use these experiences to build our careers. Many people encounter difficulties and they either give up or avoid the challenge instead of pushing through their fears. Fear has dictated many of my actions. When I didn't enjoy my job, it was usually because I was afraid of something. For instance, not being able to find a job that I really liked, so I kept quitting and looking for something else. Being fired because I didn't want to put effort into something that wasn't rewarding me properly. And trying really hard and still getting caught in a tough position, so I would just coast along doing work that was just okay. Fear is based in assumptions. We assume that our boss doesn't care about our hard work, so what's the point of trying? We assume that our hard work doesn't matter. Our fear holds us back from reaching true greatness. The funny thing is that even the greatest business people often see faults in the choices they make. The difference is that they don't let the fear dictate their future decisions. I've seen dozens of people get fired because they did not put their full effort into making their job a success. They either wanted something easier or something more challenging. They were stuck on the seesaw of emotions, flying high or low, never really knowing what they wanted. Ask yourself, are you truly happy where you are? If not, you have choices, and it's up to you to empower your career and give it a good kick in the Help yourself make a choice. When you lay out all your options, it's easier to see what you need to do to find a career that will get you excited and keep your energy level high, whether it be a new perspective on the present job or doing something completely different. Some of you may make lists of all the pros and cons of staying at your present job, use mind mapping techniques, or talk to a trusted friend who knows you almost as well as you know yourself. The only way to do work that you enjoy is to take risks. Things like ask for new tasks at your present job, try a similar job at another company, go back to school, experiment with other jobs that you think will hold your interest, or start a company. Some of you may not love your jobs, but You're okay with this because you get to do what you love on the weekends. If you do a decent job that you enjoy and it doesn't create that much stress, then don't be afraid to keep doing it. You don't need to conquer the world if you enjoy what you do. However, for most of you, this won't cut it, so you need to find what type of work will trigger the most happiness. An emotional foundation. It's all about being honest with who you are and what you want. If you need to wake up and get excited about what you do to earn a living, then it's time to make a plan. You need to do some soul searching and write a list of emotional needs as related to your career. When working happy, money isn't always a powerful motivator. Your career happiness will most likely depend on two main factors, your ability to feel productive and the people you work with. I created a list about five years ago and my shortened version looks like this. One, writing, poetry, marketing and business, self-help and novels. Two, public speaking. Although it made me nervous, it got me excited. Three, flexibility. 
ability to go and be where I wanted, not be stuck in an office. Four, sharing of ideas. I love to share and develop ideas with other people. Five, laughter. I wanted a job that was fun, nothing too serious and uptight. And six, grand goals. I wanted a job that had almost infinite possibility. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled, When Your Career Sucks, You Can Fix It, by Carl Stabe of digtofly.com. We're driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search, match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree. Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out those incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. So just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. You don't need me to tell you that something always comes up when you're running a small business. Take the pain out of payroll benefits and HR and put the joy back in running your business with Gusto. Gusto's payroll and HR services can make it a little easier. Gusto was designed for you, the small business owner. They take the pain out of running a business, automatically calculating paychecks, filing payroll taxes, setting up open enrollment. Gusto does it all. Want more? Time tracking, health insurance, 401k, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts. Well, you get the idea. With Gusto, you can focus on the joy of running your business. And it's super easy to set up and get started. And if you're moving from another provider, Gusto can transfer all your data for you. So it's no surprise 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto. 94. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com slash OWD. Again, that's gusto.com slash OWD. And I'm telling you, you're going to love Gusto. Get started today. And thank you so much to Carl. And let me tell you a little bit more about him. He helps entrepreneurs understand their struggles and turn them into stepping stones. In 2010, he was diagnosed with testicular cancer and then was laid off from his job in 2011. And while those were, of course, difficult situations, he calls them blessings in disguise because since then, he stopped doing work that doesn't fit with his passions and instead now focuses only on things he truly cares about. Carl is the author of the book, Bring Gratitude, and has a lot to offer on his site, which is digtofly.com, so you can learn much more there. And I do have that linked in this episode's description. By the way, if you're wondering, dig to fly means dig deep to fly high. And Carl also has a podcast, which you can find wherever you get your audio. It is called the Dig to Fly Podcast. But that'll do it for this episode of Optimal Work Daily. But don't forget, we still have more to go in this post. So come on back tomorrow for part two where your optimal life awaits.